Today's easy tutorial is all about Apple Contacts. This is part two in my 12 part series entitled iPhone Basics. The reason this application jumps to the front of the line is because so many other apps we'll cover in later videos connect to contacts. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. If you'd like to learn how to set up new contacts the right way, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich, and whether you're new to the iPhone or just want to polish up on your iPhone skills, then you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to cover how to create a new contact, it's pretty simple, how to create contact lists and add contacts to the list, and that's super handy to keep things organized, how to add a contact to your favorites list so you can make a phone call quickly, how to share a contact, because sometimes you want to do that, and then lastly, how to use the contact card to send a message, make a phone call, make a video call, send an email, and even send Apple Cash if both of you have iPhones. All right, let's get started. All right, first up is just how to add a contact to the Contacts app. So this is a Contacts icon. If you just tap on that, you'll open the Contacts app. And you might see this first screen where it says all iCloud. Maybe you have no contacts in there at all. I have a few that I've already added and they're in here. Or maybe when you open up the Contacts app, it just takes you to your contacts like that if you've got a few that are in there. But once you're here, if you're here, you'll tap on all iCloud. Once you've done that, you just tap on the plus. And now you can create a new contact. And the first thing you want to do is add a picture of your contact. So there's a couple of ways to do this. If you tap on add photo, you can choose the camera. And if you tap on the camera, you can actually take a picture of the person if they happen to be there and add that as their picture in their contact information. You can choose one from photos. If you already have a picture of them, you can choose a Memoji, which is what we'll do in just a second, or monogram, and you can just choose what you want here, a color, and add that in. So we'll choose a Memoji, and we'll just choose that one to get started. We'll click Next. And so now we've got a picture, and we'll click Done. And then we'll click Continue. And now we can crop the picture, so maybe we'll do that. We'll tap on Crop, and then we'll just kind of squeeze around and get the picture about where we want it to be. Then we'll click Choose. And then we'll click Done. Then we'll click Continue. And now we've got a picture of the contact. So now you've got a whole bunch of fields that you can fill in. And you don't have to fill them all in. I don't have everything filled in. But we'll start with the first name. We'll type in John Smith, because everybody's named John Smith. And we'll make the company, let's say, Lowe's. If they work somewhere, you can put you can put the name of the company in. If, you, if it's just a friend, you don't have to put anything there. Then we'll keep scrolling, and we're going to click on the little green plus to add a phone number. And I'll add the Lowe's Home Improvement near me. And then we'll keep scrolling, and we'll add an email. And we'll just make it... John at Lowe's.com. And now I've got an email in there. You can also add pronouns, but I'm not going to do that. You can set a ringtone or a text uh, tone. You can add a URL. If there is a web page, then you can just type www.lowes.com. If you have something like that, again, if there's nothing... Uh, there that you want to put in. You don't have to do that. And you can add an address. And then you can add their birthday if you want to, and that's super handy because it'll show up 
in your calendar app. You can add a date. Maybe the date is the date you met, just some date that's important to you. You can add a related name. And this is kind of interesting. If you tap on the plus, you can type in your, if this is your mother, or maybe it's your child or friend or spouse, but you can create a label there. And if you say it's your mother, you can just ask Siri to call your mother and it'll call this number. You don't have to say John Smith. And then you can add a social profile. If you've got information about Facebook or something like that, same thing with instant message and a verification code, which I'm not sure what it, that means, but I think it's related to uh, instant messaging. But anyway, you can fill in all of this information, but now we've got the main stuff in there, and I'm going to click Done. And now, we've, just like that, we've got the contact added. And you can do that for each of your contacts. And of course, it takes a little bit of time to get them in there, but it's a one and done thing. Once you've put it in, you're good to go. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about is creating lists. So, you know, in the old phone books, you just opened it up and you alphabetically looked for somebody's name, and that's how you did it. And you can do it that way too. I've got all of these names in here. But to make things easier, you can actually create a list. So if, you, if you're in this section here, you can go tap on lists at the top and go back. And you can see I only have one list called All iCloud. But now I'm going to add a list. And I just tap on Add List. And I think I'll call this Family. And then I'll click Done. And now you'll see that it just says zero. I don't have anybody on that list. But if I tap on it, I can click Add Contacts. And I'll add my mom, brother, sister, and brother-in-law. And now I'll click Done. And now I have a family list here. And if you go back, I've got all iCloud. This is everybody, like a whole phone book or I can just tap on family and I've got my family names there and you can do the same thing and you can create as many lists as you want but it's just a handy way to keep things organized so that you're not having to scroll through a whole bunch of names in your contacts list pretty simple all right the next thing I want to show you is how to add a contact to your favorites list your favorites list shows up in the phone app so here I've got my phone, and if I tap on the phone icon, it takes me here. But if you'll notice in the bottom left corner, it says Favorites. And if I tap on that, I have one favorite listed there, my daughter. But if I go back into Contacts, and I go to the contact we just created, John Smith, if I scroll down to the bottom, there is a section here called Add to Favorites, and I'm just going to tap on that. And now I'm going to choose what I want. Do I want text messaging or call or email? I'm going to tap Call so that it shows up in my phone list, and that's all you have to do. Now, when I go back to my phone and my favorites, you see John Smith is showing up there, and if I tap on it, it just automatically makes the call, just like that. And if you want to get rid of somebody off your favorites list, you don't do it in contacts. You actually do it in the phone app. You just swipe over and tap delete. It doesn't delete the contact. It just deletes them from your favorites list. But you can put all of your favorites right there from within the contacts app. Pretty handy. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to share a contact. So sometimes you have a phone number and you want to send it to a family member or you want to send an address or you want to give it to a friend. And there's some cool ways you can do that if you have a couple of phones you can tap together. But this is probably the, the most common way you'll do that. So if you go into contacts, we'll go back to John Smith that we created. And if you scroll down you can see where it says share contact and when you tap on that 
you can see what information you want to share. In this case, I'm sharing the little picture, their name, I'm not sharing the company, although I can if I want to, their phone number, their email, and their web address. Maybe I don't want to do the web address, so I'll just take that off. And maybe I do want to share their address, so I'll tap that on. And then I click Done, knowing that this is the information I'm going to share. And now it'll ask me how I want to share it. I can do it through mail. If I tap on mail, it'll create a new email and I type in who I want to send it to and, and they will get the contact information through email. If I want to send it by a text message, I can do that. I just tap on messages and I type in who I'm going to send it to and they get the contact information there. And you can also do it through AirDrop and a variety of other ways, but those are just the quick ways to share a contact. Really, really simple, but handy. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just what you can do from the contacts card. So if we open up contacts again to our contact John Smith that we just created, you've got a number of options right along here. So if you want to send a text message, you can just tap on text message and you can choose how you want to do it, either using an email or a phone number. Most of the time you'll use a phone number, so you can do that. And now you can type in your message and send it on. If we go back to contacts, you can call their work number. If you just tap on that, it'll automatically call, just like that. This is kind of grayed out, but that is for FaceTime. If the number you entered is an iPhone number, that will show up there as FaceTime, and you can FaceTime each other by just tapping on that. If you want to send an email, you can just tap on Mail, and it automatically puts their email address in here, and you can put the subject and type in whatever you want to send the message. And lastly, you can send Apple Cash to another phone. If they have an iPhone and have it set up on their phone, you can tap Pay, and in this case, you'll see the message down here, John Smith cannot receive payments sent with Apple Cash at this time. That's because the number I'm using here is actually for Lowe's Home Improvement and not an actual iPhone telephone number. But if you had a friend who had an iPhone, then you'd actually be able to send them Apple Cash from your phone and your Apple Cash account to their phone and their Apple Cash account just really handy. My guess is by now you can see just how important having your contacts on your phone can be and why you'd want to spend some time getting it all set up. It does take some effort to do this, but it pays dividends down the road. Okay, that's it for part two on how to use Apple contacts. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.